Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Blair's Head Garage. On today's episode, we're going to be doing the Mustang 75 719 Fastback. It's made for the 9603 Harley Sportsters 1200s. Uh, this particular model, I have a solo seat on it, some eBay, Amazon one that I've been running. It's about one inch thick, and uh, you know, when I sit on it, it's really, really not too bad. I mean, it's kind of a low profile feel. I feel comfortable with your planet. But, <laughs> you know, other than bar hopping, you know, that's, this is all that that's he's really going to serve his purpose for. Um, technically, it's pretty much riding season already in Texas, you know, unfortunately, you know, up northern, y'all probably have snow and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, the fastback seat has an option to where I can also throw a seat. Uh, it kind of has a little slope on it. You're going to see when I install it, you know, so I can be able to take passengers. Any passengers want to go? Let me know. Anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for right now. I'm gonna just show you kind of some B-roll clips of how it looks right now, how low profile it sits. But um, definitely, uh, highly, highly, highly recommend this seat, man. This seat was really, really, really nice. I mean, it kind of uh, kind of made a game changer. I was able to ride the seat for almost six hours, didn't even feel it, you know. With the current seat right now, <laughs> you know, back was, back was killing me. I mean, you know, right side, inside of the side of the thighs, it was really, after about two hours, I mean, you're done. You're not, I mean, you're not, you're not gonna be able to ride it, but you know, the way I have going on right now, let's bring you in, so you can check it out. So here's a side profile of it. You know, it's definitely kind of my style, the way I like to do my bikes, real nice and slick, real easy, really easy going. Um, I just like the way the, the way the, the way the sit seat's really long on here, but definitely, you know, these seats are not really that hard to switch out. Very, very easy to switch out. It's really, really that stupid screw right there. One screw, and then this one comes off with one screw, but the way this is set up, it's just, like I said, it's more for bar hopping. Let's, uh, let's get into the DIY with how, how easy it is, it is to swap it out. All right, so here we go. This is gonna be, the model number I'm using, 75, 719 from Mustang, okay? All right, so this is the opening, pretty much. I know y'all guys love this stuff. Anyways, this is the bag that it comes in. What the fuck? Really a fucking zip tie. I mean, I guess, I can't really budge them right. Hold this stuff back. All right, so we end up getting a, here's a side profile of it. See how the slope goes down. I think it's gonna really match the way the fenders look. Let's see if you can see the model number on there. All right, so overall, let me bring you in a little bit more better so you can kind of see it. Pretty, pretty solid uh, construction, you know? I've always been a fan of like whenever the for, uh, the seat pads are really stiff, you know? You want them to have the stiff, but you want to have a pretty nice cushion. The cushion's pretty pretty soft. I know I saw a lot of reviews on this saying that they're, they're very stiff and firm. I mean, I don't know, unless you have fucking shitload hemorrhoids or something. I think this is actually gonna be pretty, uh, pretty nice and comfortable. I don't think it's gonna be rock hard like other people say it is. It actually feels like it's pretty soft. And for the passenger, you know, what could you do? She can't really complain, right? Or guy if you're into that. But anyways, here it is. Um, let's go ahead and get this installed. Anyway, so here we go. So on my current setup right here, this is what I have right now. So pretty much I already kind of pre loosened everything. But anyways, let's take off the one bolt that holds it on. Mine was just a floating seat. Is. All right, so here we go. So, see right here, you got a little hook. Well, not really hook, like a little latch kind of deal. And then you got a little area where this is actually gonna shove under, okay? All right, so here we go. Let me do a quick install. So we wanna make sure that this engages. You're gonna get your bolt on the back side. Okay, so 
I probably don't need it because my bike's rusted. Your bike's probably, probably needs it because you have paint. It has this little black washer, kind of a phenolic one. Probably gonna want to set that right under it. And I just have this just general hardware just to kind of get it get it installed. But I know they sell all these different kinds of knobs and stuff like that, but there you go. Gotta love that Milwaukee, right? We're not trying to bolt this down too tight, but it's just here we go. <clears throat> Alright, so let's do an initial seat sit, I guess. Alright, here we go. Oh man, it definitely definitely makes a lot of difference. You know, a lot of people are saying that it raises you up on the Mustang seat, but you know, my feet are still still flat. I still can grab onto my brass knuckle pigs. I mean, I'm I mean, I'm uncomfortable. I feel like the, the back actually has some kind of better support, you know, it feels like this little ridge. You know, I feel like when I fall down, like it's you know, see how my legs it's, it's catching me. Before another moment, I'll slide, <laughs> I'll go all the way back just because there's nothing there to stop me. That's why I was looking at the saddle wing ones too, because saddle wing ones are kind of uh, about the same price range. And it uh, feels like, you know, when I tried my buddies and got a saddle wing, just man, I think it actually did really feel hard. This one has some, definitely has some cushion. Let me see, let me jump on the back so for the passenger. Oh yeah, definitely. I used to have a little small little pillion that I used to put on whenever I was gonna take a passenger. And uh, you know, I definitely, it's a lot of cushion back there. This this actual this hump is like three inches of hump probably, and it definitely provides a passenger. You know, I'm gonna probably do a, a probably about one thousand mile review. A lot of people are saying break this in for a thousand. We'll we'll see what happens. You know, see where it goes. But as of right now, I'm definitely happy with it. It's kind of pricey, like about four hundred bucks. You'll probably get it cheaper on Amazon depending on the deal you can get, but. Highly, highly recommend if you're gonna be putting it on the Sportster 1200 or even an 83, which I have another one I'm gonna be building. I'll probably do it on that one too.